What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Target exclusive Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Ninja Black Ranger. And so here we have the Black Ninja Ranger pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories. Adam here does come with three different head sculpts. We do get the full masked head which looks really nice. We do get the half masked head which also looks good. And then finally we do get an unmasked head which does have good likeness but I don't like the lips. He also does come with two sets of hands. We get a pair of fists. We get a style pose right hand. We get a chopping left hand. And then we do get an effect piece for the chopping hand. Other than that, Adam here doesn't come with any other accessories. So with that out of the way, let's actually move on to his details. So here we have a closer look at the Black Ninja Ranger and I have to say they did a really good job with the face although I'm not a fan of the fact that his teeth are showing. I think they should have just done a completely closed mouth and another thing I'm not a fan of are the lips. I don't know why they made the lips on the Ninja Ranger so full but yeah it's kind of throwing off the likeness a little bit but overall I do like the head sculpt. It's a really nice likeness to Johnny Young Vosh, which I think he, he does a really great job as a character. I do like the headband here. Really good. Now the only thing that separates this figure from the White Ranger that we've had a look at is essentially this head sculpt and the half mast head sculpt where we can see his hair and face poking through, which that looks really nice. I do like that. Other than that, this is essentially the exact same figure that we saw with the white Ninja Ranger just done in black plastic with a new paint job. Well, once again, I think the tunics would have been nice if they had sculpted on the medallions right here. I think the frog would have looked nice if it was uh, embossed rather than just a flat print. You can see that they painted the gold lines on this figure really nicely. I do like it. Really nice coloration. I do like the gold and the black. They contrast each other nicely. We do have the diamonds that have outlined in gold. One issue I have noticed, and this seems to be a common issue with the uh, Black Ranger, is that the right arm is kind of not in the right place like there's something wrong with the peg that forces it to be very wonky you can see i'm moving the uh, the arm but not the shoulder so something about this joint doesn't function properly and it's a common issue i've seen with other people who have ordered the black ranger that this right arm something is up with the peg that doesn't let it sit properly and you move the peg more than you move the joint so do be careful about that other than that, I have the only other issue I have is with the legs. Now you can see there is some obvious gap between his thigh and his hip. Now I did file down the joint as much as possible and they're still gapping. So I don't know what the issue is. I don't want to file it down any further because that might ruin the integrity of the joint. But yeah, when I got it out of the packaging, that was so much worse. This is actually relatively better but not by mar much. It's marginally better to be quite honest. So yeah, unfortunately mine does have that issue. But overall, a really solid sculpt. I do like the fact that the Lightning Collection reuses the sculpt just so, as a cost saving tool. But again, I would like to see some effort put into the sculpt work, especially with the tunics. This being the exact same as Tommy's. I don't know, there's something about it that rubs me the wrong way. Having these sculpted probably would have been a much different uh, take on the figure, but that's something I would have preferred. Because in the show and movie, these were actually sculpted. They weren't just slapped on and flat. So, yeah, unfortunately, that isn't as good as it could be. But overall, still liking the way the figure came out. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually take a closer look at the Black Ninja Ranger. Here we have the Black Ninja Ranger posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the Black Ninja Ranger posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have the Black Ninja Ranger posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And for our final comparison, here we do have the Black Ninja Ranger posed next to the Pink Ninja, White Ninja and Blue Ninja Ranger. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually move on to his articulation. Now he has the exact same articulation as the White Ranger. So he does have a double ball joint here at the head, although it doesn't provide too much movement, unfortunately. He gets better movement because his hair isn't in the way, but it's not at all a good, deep enough 
joints so it doesn't get too much up and down gets very little side to side tilt but he does have a neck joint which does help with the up and down movement so i do like that his arms are on ball joints so they well on a butterfly joint so they do move forward and back really nicely they do go out to the side very nicely and because the shoulder pad here is a softer piece sandwiched between both joints it does rotate with it so i do like that we have a bicep swivel which works really good we have double jointed elbow going about that far so it's pretty decent we have a swivel hinge here at the wrist which is pretty standard for your lightning collection figures we do have a functioning ab joint now if you remember my white ranger i couldn't get the ab joint on him to work on adam we do have it moving no problem so there is an ab crunch as well as a ball joint here at the waist which does allow for rotation his legs are on drop down hinges which do go down which provide really good movement right there go back out to the side no problem thigh swivel works fine double bend here at the knee then we do have swivel here at the uh, leg wrap then we have a hinge that goes back and forward and then finally forward facing pin for rocker ankle so overall really good articulation here on the ninja ranger so with that out of the way guys let's actually get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review And finally, here we do have the Target exclusive Black Ninja Ranger pose for my final thoughts. And overall, I really do like this concept of the Ninja Rangers. This is one set of figures that I really did want them to make. Although it is questionable on some decisions that they made, in spe especially in terms of articulation and the choice of materials used for the soft bits. I think it would have been better with an actual cut in the abdomen. I know I didn't mention that on my White Ninja Ranger, but I think cutting up this figure would have been better than having it the way it is because as it stands although it does look good function or aesthetically functionally a lot of the articulation doesn't work the ab crunch is hindered by the soft material of the rubber vest which that's a little bit unfortunate but overall i do like the black ninja ranger here now unfortunately it does seem to be a common issue that this ranger is suffering the most in terms of quality control a lot of uh, pictures i've seen have had that right arm issue where it looks like it's popping out of the peg and it just doesn't sit right I've seen loose joints on this figure and of course the gap between the thigh and the hip is a problem that is really prevalent on this particular release of the Ninja Ranger I don't know why but yeah it's one issue that you might have to deal with when you get your black Ninja Ranger now if you are looking for the Black Ninja Ranger, he is exclusive only to Target, which again, I'm not really a fan of why would they release the Ninja Rangers as a Target exclusive. This is a, a series of Rangers that I think would have been better off at mass retail just because they're the Ninja Rangers and they're not exclusive to one particular media they were actually seen in the movie and TV show. So I don't know why Hasbro made them exclusives, but unfortunately they are. If you are looking for these Rangers, you will have to go to Target and they will run you about $22, which unfortunately is a standard for your Lightning Collection figures at this time, which is really unfortunate. They, you might have to cherry pick which figures you actually pick up, but if you're a fan of Mighty Morphin, you're going to want to have this guy in your collection. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Lightning Collection videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.